In general flow of a program, statements are executed sequentially, but programming languages provides us with constructs that allow for more complicated execution paths as well. For example, if we have to do a set of steps repeatedly, we have looping constructs. And in this video, we are going to take a look at for loop. The for statement provides a compact way to iterate over a range of values. The general form of the for statement can be expressed as shown. In the flow, we first do the initialization, check the condition, execute the statements of the loop, and once all the statements are executed, increment the loop variable. Check for the condition again, execute the steps, and repeat the process till the termination condition is met. The three expressions of the for loop are optional and an infinite loop can be created if you don't provide a termination condition. The for statement also has another form designed for iteration through arrays and collections. This form is sometimes referred to as the enhanced for loop and can be used to make your loops more compact and easy to read. To demonstrate, consider the following array which holds the numbers 1 through 10. We can use enhanced for to loop through the array. The scope of the variable declared in the initialization expression lasts till the loop ends, which means if you try to use it outside the loop, it will give you an error. Working with looping constructs and arrays will become more interesting now that you have the knowledge of for loop and enhanced for loop. In the next video, we'll take a look at some interesting keywords used along with these looping constructs.